Hello bonjour and welcome to your new RT1 Exchange video. If you're not familiar with the RT1 Exchange, it is a wine investment and trading platform as well as a wine club that has exclusive high-end wines for collectors and investors alike. Check out the link in the video description to learn more right here. Here's what you need to know about probably the most popular style of sparkling wine globally. More of it is sold and drunk nowadays than champagne itself. This is your essential guide to Prosecco wine in five facts and about five or six minutes from now. See how we go. Let's go. The name Prosecco itself used to be the name of a grape they used to make sparkling wine from in the north of Italy, in the region near Venice City, the beautiful Venice City. But Prosecco has now become a protected appellation, rather, while Glera is now the official name of the grape. So Prosecco wines has to be Italian, of course, and it has to be sparkling and come from the Veneto region of northern Italy. Prosecco essence in a few words. Prosecco is not made like French champagne wine, as it is not refermented in the bottle you buy the wine into itself. Instead, it is fermented at the winery in closed and pressurized stainless steel tanks, and this will become very important, as we'll see in a minute. They close the tanks really tight and add some sugar and let the pressure build up, and that's how they make the bubbles that we love so much through that method that we call the tank method or the Charmat method. They build up the pressure in the tank and then put it in the bottle. This is way cheaper to produce than fermenting the wine in the actual, each actual individual bottle as they use in Champagne. So Prosecco is much cheaper to produce. On top of that, the grapes for Champagne have to be harvested by hand by actual people with secateurs and buckets, while Prosecco can be mass harvested with machine harvesters. Again, way cheaper way of making sparkling wine. That's why Prosecco is cheap. And this method is not the most sophisticated one meant to produce the finest and deepest sparkling wines on earth. So it doesn't make the most complex bubblies for sure. It's not all bad though, as this quick machine harvest and the tank fermentation allows to retain all of the freshness and the vibrant flavors from the original grapes, which you don't do perhaps as much in Champagne. So Prosecco tastes really lively and fruity and citrusy, like lime and lemon juice. It's a little floral as well. So it's simple, but refreshing. And one can find some very delicate nuances in the flavors of a good Prosecco. We'll talk about the best Prosecco to buy in a minute, by the way. Yes and no. Prosecco is generally one fairly consistent style of sparkling. They all pretty much come in the same flavor profiles and somewhat that's why they're so successful. Always crisp and zingy. It's almost never aged or meant to be salad at all. Just to be bought and drunk that same day or the same week. That said, you'll find some variations in sweetness levels for Prosecco. Most Prosecchi, yes Prosecchi in Italian is the plural of Prosecco, not Proseccos. The most common Thai style, like this one is, is extra dry, so that's a little sweeter than a Brut Champagne would normally be, because naturally Prosecco wines are more acidic, so they need to be sweetened or left with a little more residual sugars than a standard Champagne. So standard Prosecco is extra dry, while a Champagne would be Brut as standard. Although there are some drier styles of Proseccos as well, Brut or Nature, Brut or Brut Nature, there is a sweeter version as well of Prosecco that's called Dolce, if you want something really sweet and that really tastes like grape juice. 
In addition, rosé, prosecco, pink prosecco have been introduced a few years ago. They're pretty much the same type of wine made from the same grape, generally Glera grape, with a little Pinot Noir, a touch of Pinot Nero uh, for the color. And now if you want to buy finer Prosecco rather than the extremely cheap bottom shelf ones that you find in every supermarket around the world, well there are some better examples that you can look for made in more specific locations across the huge Veneto region in smaller villages where the terroir is a little better and where they take extra attention to detail to make those better products and those taste a little finer, finer bubbles, finer texture, etc. Those are labeled as their own appellations, a little more expensive but much better. Uh, they feature more complex notes of fruits and flowers, more nuances, more mm, finesse really. So look for the appellation called Prosecco Conegliano Baldobiadene, which is the most famous and easiest to find quality Prosecco, or also the Superiore Cartizze, or Prosecco Treviso, like this one is. There's also a slightly more obscure one called Prosecco Asolo, or Prosecco Colli Asolani. I also personally like the organic uh, Proseccos rather than conventional viticulture. They have a little more to them and more respectful for the environment perhaps and that's what you needed to know about prosecco thanks for watching make sure to stay tuned to the channel to continue the journey learning about all the best wines around the world and all the most popular ones on earth don't forget to like this video to support it helps us immensely making more producing more of these videos thanks again for watching and i will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine cheers Sante. Salute!